So when it comes to inspecting a house for mold, what is the importance of mycology? Well, mycology, being the study of fungus, should be the basis of all mold inspections because mold is a fungus. But unfortunately, there are a lot of mold inspectors out there where mycology is their weakest subject, ironically. You know, a lot of these guys come as contractors or home inspectors, and they're good with the building, but they're weak on the microbiology. And so what does the mycology knowledge do for us? Well, the first thing is understanding the ecology of of the mold. Ecology meaning what's its environment? What is it like to eat? What temperature does it thrive at? What moisture level does it thrive at? Having all of this information can help us with our investigation. For example, I might see a type of mold that's in a clinical result of yours, or I might see it uh, in the environment or on a test that you've done previously, and I can already start pointing in places where it could be because of its ecological niche, where it likes to live, what it likes to eat on. Same thing if we open up a wall, and if we look inside of a wall and we see mold growing, people might be looking for leaves they look for, well, where's the water coming in? Well, understanding the type of mold, we might find, hey, this is not a hydrophilic mold. This is not a mold that loves water. It's actually a type of mold that doesn't like a lot of water. It just wants a little bit. So there would be no flood here. This did not come from a flood. This moisture issue came from something smaller like humidity or condensation. And the mold can tell us that, which is really interesting. So doing deeper investigations by understanding the science behind it is really crucial. Now, when it comes to your health, we want to know what type of mold are we dealing with. And at a deeper level, we want to know what are the health effects? Is it an allergenic mold? Is it pathogenic? Is it toxic? What type of toxins does it produce? Are they ochratoxins, aflatoxins? Are they trichothecenes? Being able to understand that, we can start pointing to symptoms as well. So mycology is really, really important when it comes to having expert opinion on site.